Welcome to this quick video on how to download and install DimDrive. Go to DimDrive.com, click on order, order the software, you'll get a link to download it. Click on the download here, and then you will have a insta installation file right here. Click this, um, I've already installed it, but basically just follow through, hit next, 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 and you will get a icon on your desktop called DimDrive. Run this icon and log in with the information that was created when you ordered the software. You can see I already have some information in there right now. What DimDrive does when it first launches is it looks at all the Steam games that you have installed and it creates little profiles within the software to support those particular games. If you look at mine, you'll notice I have Bioshock, Call of Duty, Duke Nukem, Skyrim, of course Skyrim, and just a couple other games here. You can set up other programs within DimDrive. You can choose to use DimDrive just as a blank drive, or you can click on any particular game and choose to set up that game. So for our example, we're just gonna set up a 10 gig DimDrive. We're gonna click Enable DimDrive, and you'll notice it's creating the drive, getting it ready, and now the drive is ready. We can open up the drive here and take a look at what we have. 10 gig drive. And just for kicks, let's run a benchmark tool on this. Crystal Disk Mark is pretty awesome. We are gonna select our Y drive. We're just gonna do a really quick one. So let's do one pass at 500 megs here. Click all, let this scream away. And while this is running, you'll notice that Dim Drive actually has its own benchmark program. Now this is something that I whipped up really quickly and it's definitely not as sophisticated as a good benchmarking software like Crystal Disk Mark here but it's pretty nice. Take screenshots of your benchmark, and all in all, I like it. You'll see uh, there's no programs configured right here. However, if you have something like Firefox, you can actually click and drag it directly into Dim Drive to set it up. You can click and drag other programs directly into Dim Drive. You can even click and drag folders directly into Dim Drive. And that'll do the setup right from there. Now, other portions of Dim Drive, you'll notice it'll say performance. I've got my CPU at 25%. I have 6.7 gigs of RAM used out of roughly 64. Lots of RAM on this system. You'll notice a little picture right here. It's welcome to Dim Drive. You'll notice that there's some options for Dim Drive, how large you want it, what drive lever you want associated with it. And there's some other options, how you want Dim Drive to function when your computer boots up. Do you want it to load right away? Do you want it to enable? Do you want it to set everything up? You'll notice there's a USB mode, which we'll go into that a little bit later. And there's also a file sync. Dim Drive will automatically synchronize files, such as that if you shut down your computer, you won't lose anything for a game that you have installed already. Now, my computer has many things running on it right now and such as we're recording a video right now, a 20,000 kilobit per second video. So a 20 megabit per second video is being recorded right now. Plus we have some other music and everything going on in the background. And with everything that we're doing right now, that's using a pretty considerable amount of processing power, we're still able to get roughly between five and seven and a half gigabytes per second. That's gigabytes per second. So that's extremely fast. Um, and this is dim drive right out of the box, nothing configured, nothing fancy set up. Um, it's some pretty crazy speeds. Um, so thank you for watching this video. We're going to have a lot more videos on how to use dim drive, some of the advanced functionality, as well as using dim drive with some specific games such as maybe Bioshock or one game that I play, World of Warcraft. So thank you for watching and tune in for some more videos later.